Hello, it's Jessie with a new nail tutorial, and today we'll be working on the Bumblebee nail tutorial. Ta da! And as you can tell, this is really messy looking because this is my right hand, and you know, it's not perfect or anything like that. So, I promise you, the left hand will look much better. <laughs> so, anyway, let's get started. So for my base color, I have on Happy Go Lucky by China Glaze. It's a really very, very bright yellow color. And for the black stripes, I will be using Wet n Wild Black Cream. So after you've applied your base color, you're going to take your polish now for Wet n Wild, their brushes are really pretty, pretty thin. See how thin they are? So you're going to draw some black lines. Just like that. And if you want, you can take a striper polish to make the lines um, more straighter. I'm going to use Time Off by Sinful Colors. And I'm just going to fix it up wherever I think needs to be more straight. should be good enough. My thumb came out the best. And now we're going to start off with the bee. Okay, I hope this isn't a weird angle or anything like that, but um, to draw the bee I'm going to use a really thin brush like this. And I will also be using a dotting tool. You can also use a toothpick. What I'm going to do is just dab some black onto paper. You want to have a good blob so it doesn't get goopy later. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to draw a big Oval shape. I feel like my bee's fat. And then we're going to just make a stripe in the middle. I 
like so. Just like that. Looks like an eyeball or something. And then I'm going to draw a tiny little stinger, which is just a little triangle like that. And then we're going to go ahead and draw the wings. So you're going to make them like a teardrop shape, or bunny ears, or something. Okay, and then we can draw little feet. Hmm, it's optional. I kind of messed up on it. I want it to be like a little L shape, but. This brush is not that thin. Okay, now what you're gonna do is take your yellow polish, dab that on there. I'm just going to use the same brush, but I'll, I'll be cleaning it later, so it's not going to affect. It's not going to affect the nail polish I have on already. I'm going to dip that into my yellow, and I'm just going to color in the body, the rest of the body. Something like that. And if you want, you can, um, you can fix it up again with the black if you like overlapped it too much or something. Or you want to make the lines more straight. You can wait for this to dry. You can wait for like the black to dry before you put on the yellow, but I'm kind of impatient. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And then for the wings, I'm going to be using Katori by Zoya. It's a shimmery blue color, transparent, shimmery blue color. You can use any blue you want, but this one just has all these cool glitters in it. And I'm just going to fill in the wings with that. So now he has shiny wings, yay! Cute! I'm gonna go ahead and take my dotting tool, dab it in my black. It's kind of stringy. And then I'm going to make a dot for the eyeball. Like that. And you have a bee on your nail. And that is it. And that is basically the end of the Bumblebee nail tutorial. I know it's not perfect or, you know, the best looking out there, but I think it's pretty cute. And great for the spring. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks for watching. Bye!